Hello everyone, this is Ray Space and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul in this case. Though I don't know exactly how realistic uh, Realism Overhaul would consider this, we have here a launch ramp with a rocket sled. I've been meaning to do this for a very long time. I don't think it'll be particularly useful, but it has to be done. So, uh, so I decided to do it. It's two kilometers long. It is very difficult to do. It is, of course, a custom part. Trying to do this with the general parts that are available would be very difficult. And I have some of my own engines on the tail. They're methane oxygen Rex engines, the same that are used on the Orion carry plane, except 18 of them placed a little bit haphazardly back there. And right now the sled, the rocket sled, is attached to the ramp by a docking port, which I will release. So that's that docking port there, that NASA docking system. It's also currently auto strutted to the heaviest part for safety. And it's carrying on its back a procedural tank with avgas. So that's the payload. And at the end of the ramp, right now, I haven't got it set up for the recovery of the rocket sled. There are two options. We could have the rocket sled parachute down. Uh, the top of the ramp is about 400 meters. So that's not a lot of room for the parachutes to, to start working, but it is going upward at the end of the ramp, so that's nice. Uh, or we could have it fire retro rockets, but I don't have those here. But there is room for retro rockets in front of the tanks. Uh, for scale, the tanks are the diameter of SLS. In fact, they're about the length of an SLS first stage. So those are basically SLS first stage tanks. But since we're using methane and oxygen, not really, because SLS, NASA Space Launch System, uses hydrogen and oxygen. So we're going to see if this works. I haven't put a payload on it yet, but I have tested that I can move on the ramp. So releasing. Oh, why is my camera going here? Um, rocket sled. I, I, I aim camera. Okay. I must have moved the camera a lot. Okay. So... Go. I haven't really shaped the rocket sled in a very fancy way. You can see it's a very blocky thing in the back there. And yeah, we'll see. If it works, then I'll shape it properly. Ah, oh, vapor and feed lines. Why? Why you do this? Gosh darn it. But we're not using nearly that much fuel. Oh, it's doing that again. Okay, maybe if we get to a faster speed, it'll be all right. It doesn't look like we're going to use more than half of the fuel. So let me reduce the fuel and try again. Or we could reduce the payload as well. I think the payload being heavy also hurts. Right now we've got about 1,500 tons of payload. There's a lot more volume in these tanks than I'm actually using. Okay, well, let me cut this down too. Let's say a thousand tons for now. You can't put this on the stock runway. It'll just explode. It seems to like it on the shuttle landing facility. Okay, and then I have to go aim camera over here. Otherwise, the center of mass is way off. The center of mass of the ramp is at the middle. Okay. Here we go again. It is full thrust. The front of the rocket sled actually has a sort of diagonal bit, so it doesn't get stuck or anything. Ah. Uh... Hmm. It's a fairly straightforward curve, as you can see. But when we get to there, we have a problem. Maybe I should use solids. I mean, I'm not entirely sure about the rules. I don't even know how fast this can launch something right now. And there's that problem too. 
trying to decouple safely. When it's spinning around that... Uh, well, okay, now it has problems. Hmm... Okay, I'm thinking supplementary SRBs. Uh, the engines aren't built in, so we can use any engines. It was meant to be engine agnostic if for stock users also to be put uh, to be able to put whatever engines they want. I mean, the thing is, we don't need like these. I don't know. I mean, it's not two two minutes to the end of the ramp, you see. So it's overkill. These have a shorter time. Okay, we've got four of those. I don't know if it'll help or not. Okay, go. And I might as well go with the SRVs now too. Maybe I should have it get some lift or something. Ah, uh, those still go out. I'm thinking maybe we should just go straight SRVs. They're doing pretty good, just four of them. But they have too much fuel. Okay, we're going with underfueled shuttle SRBs. So I saw the AJ 60s were doing really well. And so I'm gonna remove the fuel from the rocket sled. For now, I'll just keep the engines on. They're not gonna make too much of a difference. Maybe they could give an extra boost early on, but I want to see just with the SRBs how it does. Oh, why does it say 9 tons? Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna put them off to the side here. Alright. Go SRBs. Oh, they're solid fuel for some reason. Okay, they've got a problem. Okay, do you really have P-Ban? Okay, these, the five segment ones are okay. But I'm gonna cut out half their fuel. Okay, you going? Oh, those plumes are weird too. For some reason we got a lot of weirdness with these things. At least, in theory, they shouldn't shut down. Lots of rocking though. Hmm, acceleration not great right now. Hmm, not not the kind of speed I was looking for. Well, maybe it was the drag though. I'm gonna try and put two more. And just in case drag is an issue, I will put the nose cones. Okay, now let's see. Okay, here we go. Obviously there's a lot of crash tolerance on both the ramp and the sled. About 200 meters per second is all we get. Like that. Hmm. Not, not horrible. It's a boost, it counts. Getting through the speed of sound would be very difficult. But while we're here, let's just see what happens if we have three on each side. Okay. Here we go. This will definitely need custom SRBs. So, I think 200 is the limit. Hmm, maybe there's some friction thing? Oh, those on the top had too much. I copied them, but... Got fully fueled, I guess, when I copied them. We'll try one more time with the fuel down. But... Uh, getting past 200 seems to be a problem. Well, this time we passed 200, okay. Uh, adding two more SRBs just got us 40 meters per second, really. 
and some air time. So interesting, even though they still have some fuel left, they did go out. They're better at not going out than the liquid engines, but even the SRBs can go out like that. Okay, well, the crash tolerance of the rocket sled should be really high. Let's see what happens here. Ah, the SRBs hit. Alright, we lost all the SRBs and now it's going to do some weird physics thing because of its high tolerance. Oh, got the nose cone. How about that procedural tank on your back? Uh, okay, it's going to break down a bit. Because of its high breaking force. Anyway. Well, that's the situation. 240 meters per second is not bad. I'll have to take off the take off the tanks and the engines and just go with SRBs maybe. But it's doable. A longer ramp. The problem with a longer ramp than two kilometers is, of course, it goes out of render range. So I'm worried about what happens when you're on a ramp that is that has its center of mass out of render range. So that is why I haven't made it longer than this. But who knows? I mean, but I think it would have problems. So I've kept it within render range. And maybe you could go to double render range, like you could go four kilometers because the center of mass will be in the middle, so it still counts, sort of. But yeah. Anyway, I've always wanted to make a rocket sled. We'll see if there's any practical use to it, replacing this with an actual payload. I will have to ignite its engines and then get away from it. But for now, that has been the initial experiments with it. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.